Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get this full glam holiday makeup look. And the even better part is I used all drugstore products except for two items that were Morphe. So it's pretty much just an affordable makeup tutorial because I personally consider Morphe as kind of like a drugstore brand, especially now that you can find it at Ulta. And I mean, the price is very, very affordable. So this is the look that I will be doing today. And I quickly did want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Glam May DeCastro. She has some great videos on her channel and I will leave all her information down below, including Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and of course, her YouTube channel she is doing a different version of a holiday makeup tutorial so if you would like to see that I will link it down below and definitely go ahead and check it out and check out her channel as well she's a great fellow youtuber and yeah so let's just go ahead and get started with this look so I already went ahead and primed my eyes and I also applied tape to the outer edge of the eye and for today's look I will be using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. I feel like this is such a versatile palette especially for this holiday season and I'm going to be going in with the shade Silk Cream and MFEO and as you guys can see I'm not applying it to the outer portion of the eye first. I went in and applied it straight to the center of the crease and then I worked it into the inner portion of the eye and the outer portion of the eye. I feel like this adds a little bit more definition and I get like the most concentration of pigment where I apply it first which was in the center of like the crease which is where I wanted that color to be. And then I will be mixing the shade Butter and Pukey. And I'm applying another like transition color because I want it all to be seamless and I'm doing the same technique applying it to the center and then blending it out to the outer portion of the eye and to the inner portion of the eye. And now I'm going in with the shade Roxanne with like a smaller more precise brush and I'm going to be applying that into the crease as well lower than the other colors that we had previously used and this is where like the dimension and like deeper colors are going to start coming in so first I'm going to be working this shade into the crease and then I'm going to get like another fluffy brush and blend it out. And now I'm going to take Mocha and Central Park, which are a lot darker and they're kind of like a little bit more on like the cool tone side. And I'm applying them with a pretty small brush and that this shade is going under Roxanne and I'm pretty much just shaping out my crease. And in, with this shade, I did want to start at the outer portion of the eye and then work it inwards because that's where I want like the most darkness and depth is on the outer portion with like the deeper colors. And once I get the shape going, I'm going to go in with another brush and really make sure to blend it out. And if you need to go back in with a transition color that we used and blend it out, that'll definitely help. And now I'm going in with this Rimmel Match Perfect Concealer in the shade 2. 30. I like this type of concealer because it comes with a brush applicator so it's easy for the process that I'm doing. I pretty much applied concealer to the lid and opened my eyes and wherever that kind of line lands is how much I'm going to fill in my lid space. Because I have hooded eyes I feel like this is like the best technique and I get kind of like the best shape because if I don't do this I feel like sometimes it doesn't come out right or like this just helps getting like the perfect shape honestly and so I'm just going to finish applying concealer. I'm doing it all over the lid and then I'm going in with the shade Obsessed, which is such a beautiful color and I'm going to apply that all over the lid to kind of help set the concealer. And now I'm going in with this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Gilded Rose. This is also one of my favorite like liquid shadows. So I'm going to apply this almost to the entire lid, but the outer portion of the eye I'm going to kind of 
keep it blank just with the powder shadow because I will be going in with some other colors on the outer portion of the eye and I don't want this liquid shadow to like mess with how that's going to look. And now I'm going back in with one of the transition colors in the shade Pooter and I'm just going to apply that into the crease to kind of help blend out the eye chrome and the crease. And now I'm going to be mixing the shade Abyss and Soda Pop and I'm applying it with a pretty small brush and I'm just applying it to the outer corner pretty much of the eye and I'm applying it very lightly and taking my time with it and I'm also going to be getting a fluffy brush and helping it blend out and then add some color if I need to but with this shadow we're not trying to like make it super dramatic at all I just wanted a little bit more depth in the outer corner so that's why I went in with these and it was actually really easy to blend out as well and now I'm quickly going to be going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This has become like one of my favorite liquid liners. It is so black, it dries down completely matte, and I just feel like I can get a really good wing with this, and I just love the formula as well. It lasts all day, it doesn't like crumble on me at all, so it's a really good liner and it's super affordable as well. And now with a baby wipe, I'm just going to wipe off any fallout that I had on my cheeks to make sure that that doesn't get on like my foundation or anything. So I'm just cleaning up the skin and then I'm going to be going in with my number 7 skin illuminator. This, I use it kind of like a primer for when I'm going to be using a very kind of like drying foundation even if it isn't drying I like to use this uh, so it gives me like a really glowy finish to the skin and for foundation I will be going in with my wet and wild photo focus foundation this foundation tends to be really drying on me in the winter time so I don't tend to use it that often but since I did go in with kind of like a glowy primer it was kind of easier to blend out and it sat better on my skin so I definitely recommend if you have dry skin to use a very moisturizing or glowy primer before going in with this foundation And for concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. I wanted something that would really cover my under eye circles, and this is definitely one of my favorite concealers for if I need to cover like any breakouts or just like my under eye darkness. This definitely does it for me. And I'm going to set my under eyes, of course, with my Airspun Loose Face Powder. So I'm quickly going to blend out my concealer. And that's the great thing about this concealer as well, is that it not only gives you like a great amount of coverage, but it is very easy to blend out as well. And also, if you do your shadow before your base makeup, always make sure to be careful to blend when you're blending near your wing never get concealer on it because then you'll pretty much just have to go back in and redo your wing so always be careful with that i'm gonna set it with my airspun loose face powder and then i will be going in and setting the rest of my face with the same powder And I quickly did my brows off camera and I used my little Kiss Medium Brown kit. And now I'm going in with the sparkly shade in that kit and I'm applying that onto my brow bone. This is such a beautiful like shimmer. I absolutely love it for the brow bone and the inner corner as well. So for right now I'm just applying it to the brow bone. And now I'm going to be going back into my lower lash line and mixing some of the transition colors. And those are the colors I will be applying first on my lower lash line. And I will be going from outer corner to the inner corner with those shades. And then I'm going to be doing a mixture with the shade Mocha Abyss and Soda Pop. And I'm going to start with the shade Mocha and apply it to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to mix Abyss and Soda Pop. And I'm strictly applying that to the outer portion of the eye. And then I'm going to grab a different brush to really make sure to blend out that lower lash line so it doesn't look so like harsh. And now I'm just going back into the little Kiss Brow Kit and getting the shimmery shade and applying that to the inner corners of the eyes. 
And I will be going in with this Rimmel Scandalize liner in the shade Nude. And this is so the eyes still remain pretty open even though we did go in with some deeper shades. Uh, I don't want the eyes to be closed off at all. I want them to look open and like bright eyed. So that's why I'm going in with this liner. And now I'm quickly going to apply some of my favorite bronzer, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just applying it freely and I feel like a little bit of bronzer just makes everything look better in pictures. So I'm going in very lightly with this bronzer as well because we will be going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. And this is what I'm using to make sure the cheeks are a little bit more structured. And for blush, I'm using this Morphe palette in the shade 9N. So I'm just mixing two of like the more muted down colors. This formula is actually really nice and they go on very smooth and pretty much last all day. So it's a very good formula and if you haven't gotten your hands on it, I definitely recommend the Morphe blush palettes. Again, this one is in the shade 9N. And I'm quickly going to bake, so I'm getting my airspun powder and my Real Technique sponge and I'm just applying the powder under where we did all the contouring and blush and everything to make sure the face looks a little bit more structured. And for highlight, I'm mixing this Wet n Wild highlight with this Catrice highlight and I'm going to go ahead and mix them together and then apply it. And I wanted a little bit more of a pop so that's when I went in with my sleek makeup palette in the shade Solstice and I just went in with this highlight and applied it kind of to like the high points of where the highlight would go and I also went ahead and highlighted my cupid's bow and my chin with it. And I'm just quickly going to dust off the baking and I'm also going to blend in the bronzer blush and highlight so it doesn't look so harsh. I'm just going to blend everything with a big fluffy brush. And now moving on to lips, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Red The Scene and I'm quickly going to apply this. Finding a red lip in my collection was very hard being since I don't really use red lips very often. So I'm quickly going to line my lips with this liner. Just be careful because it is a gel formula so it's a lot creamier and it isn't like stiff at all whatsoever. So you can easily mess up so be careful when using this lip liner. And to add a little bit more dimension to the lips, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Vortex Beauty lipstick which is a lot deeper of a red and I'm just going to apply it and then mix it with the lip liner as well. And because I wanted a glossy finish I went in with this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil and it's pretty much just a clear gloss and I applied that over top of the red lip colors that we just used. So this is the final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I actually went into this not really knowing how I wanted to do this look. I just knew I wanted a red lip and super sparkly eyes and I think I did a great job at achieving it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me go ahead and quickly do a close-up of the eyes. I think this look is perfect for any holiday party, Christmas, even New Year's. Like the eyes are so pretty and I absolutely love how the red lip turned out. If you guys have watched my videos, you guys know how I feel about red lips. I don't really like doing them, but I added a gloss on top and I feel like that made me like it more. Granted, glossy red lips is kind of like a disaster waiting to happen, especially when I was curling my hair. I felt like I was going to get the red lipstick all over me. So I do recommend a matte lip, but for this look, I thought a glossy red lip was like best, but definitely try a matte if you're going to be eating and going to like a holiday party. I recommend a matte lip. And also do not forget to go ahead and check out May's video. I will link all the information down below so check the description box and there you will find the link directly to her channel and also like all her other information social medias and all that 
And so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great end of the year and let me know down below if you guys would like me to do one more like holiday makeup tutorial. I kind of am in like the holiday spirit now uh, makeup wise and I want to do at least one more holiday look, maybe not incorporating a red lip, maybe something different. Leave me down below any suggestions that you guys might have and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!